Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Never Perfect Resin here, it's Carolyn. Look what I got, what is that? Look, mythical alcohol inks from Pixis. Is this not so exciting? Look at these gorgeous colors. Mermaid, fairy, dragon, unicorn, phoenix, what? I have been wanting to try these things for the longest time and they've been in my shopping cart on Amazon forever and you know how you can put like save for later and I always save it for later. Finally, I was just like, you know what? No, I'm buying these. I want to see how they work. So yeah, I wanted to take you guys on this journey with me. And also, thank you so much, Pixis. Um, I do have an affiliate code. So if you are interested in any products from Pixis, all you have to do is click uh, in the description box below for 10% off. Thanks so much. And let's see what happens. All right. So straight out the gate, I messed up. Okay? Messed up. Big time. Mm-hmm. What is that? White alcohol ink. I knew that it would not work with these inks. I knew it. I knew that it wouldn't work. Carolyn's first attempt in the trash. Super annoying. It's all good. I decided that I was just going to start over from scratch. And basically, I'm just starting with a nice fresh layer of brand new resin. All right. And I'm really switching it up. I was like, let's just do completely different molds. No more coasters. We're going to make some light switch plates. I love making light switch plates, electrical plates, all that cool stuff. So I'm going in with some mermaid, phoenix, and unicorn. Nice little contrast of colors there. But I can't let well enough be alone. I added in some fairy and some dragon. Basically, I added everything. Couldn't help myself. Very exciting stuff. <laughs> so first off, I just mixed up some one-to-one -one epoxy resin. I am right now still using the Let's Resin one-to-one -one ratio epoxy resin. I'm a huge fan of it. So I've got this guy ready to go. Got this guy ready to go. And so here we go. We're pouring, we're pouring, we're pouring. All the pouring is happening for this first layer. And before I even touch the alcohol inks, I thought it'd be fun. Like I said, I wanted to do a galaxy themed situation. So I have all of these little tiny you know, space themed inserts. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in to the uh, electrical socket plate mold situation. Mold situation. And then. All right. So this, my unicorn alcohol ink tip wasn't working, so I definitely cut it down way too low. So I'm just having to be really careful when I, you know, put my little dots in. Oh, see? See how it's dripping? So that's my bad. I Okay. Anyway, all good. All good. It still looks really cool. Now going in with the mermaid. That is what a alcohol ink bottle tip should look like much more control there loving it looking good i'm really doing my best not to go crazy with this stuff all right now going on to the light switch plate starting in with the fairy and it is super cute super cute i love it so pretty look at that Perfect for whimsical, beautiful. Next, I am going in with this crazy phoenix. 
Crazy Phoenix Alcohol Ink. It is so cool looking. You can just see how, look at the like glitter, sparkly beauty. Very exciting. Again, I really am trying to stop myself from putting too much in. I'm so bad about that. So, yes, need to have a little bit of self-control. Carolyn, please. Then I waited about 45 minutes. I wanted the resin to set up a little bit, and I'm coming in with a little tool. I wanted to move around these pigments just a little bit. Nothing crazy, but I think that these, you know, Pixis uh, mystical pigments are kind of meant to look ethereal, if you will. And I really thought that I needed to manipulate them a little bit. So moved everything around for each mold. So here we are next day. I've just got some basic black pigment. That's all I'm going to do with the second and last layer is I'm going to mix up some black resin and pour a simple layer on top. There we go. Looking very opaque and black. Perfect. That's what I want. And I don't think it would be me if I didn't leave out some little tiny piece of footage for you guys. So this is the next day. I am so sorry. I thought I was filming when I poured the black and guess what? I wasn't. So super fun, but let's unmold these guys together and see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful. I mean, does that not look like a galaxy, you guys? Look at that. Oh, it looks like an ethereal galaxy. Spacey space. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now we're going to see what's going on with this whimsical light switch plate. And I... Th oh! Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You, that phoenix. What was I telling you guys? That phoenix? That sparkle? Goodness gracious. I'm kind of actually at, wishing I had added that to the space-themed mold. But man, oh, that is just gorgeous. I got to say, you guys, I'm pretty happy with how all of this came out. You ready for some still shots? Let's go out into the sunlight and see how these guys look. I am so, so, so excited. You, I just don't even think the sunlight is doing this thing justice. Actually, okay, maybe it is. Look how beautiful. But in real life, I mean, wow. Now I know what I'm using anytime I want like a galaxy theme, anything. I am definitely down with these mystical Pixis pigments. Goodness gracious. So I just wanted to say, everybody, I appreciate so, so much the subscribers that I've gotten thus far. I'm almost, I'm literally, I think like two videos ago, I was saying like I was almost at 300 subscribers. Well, now I'm almost at 350. And now think the big thing I'm going to do is I think it's going to be time for me to do a giveaway when I get to 500. That's what I'm thinking. I think if I can get to 500, it'll be time to do a little giveaway situation. I just think it would be fun and also a good way to just connect with everybody. So again, I'm loving making these videos and I appreciate all the wonderful, nice comments you guys leave for me. And I'm definitely having fun with this. So if you get a chance, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and I will definitely see you guys next time. Bye. Um.